Hello friends, we are back to our regular content on YouTube. Thank you so much for participating in our VBS this year, both here on YouTube and on Zoom. We hope you were really blessed and encouraged by the time we had um, together with our friends and all our teachers. Let's continue worshiping God and we'll begin today with a time of praise. Maybe you'll recognize some of the songs. So let's stand up and sing praises to God this morning.
to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in praise. And I want to be thankful. I want to be faithful. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in Today's Bible lesson is, Jesus shows us the way. It comes from John chapter 14 and it goes like this. At the Last Supper with his disciples, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. He predicted his betrayal and he predicted that one of his disciples, Peter, would deny him three times. Jesus knew that this was his last meal with his disciples but his disciples didn't know where he was going. Jesus said, don't be troubled. Trust in me and trust in God. There are many rooms in my father's house. I would not tell you this if it were not true. I am going there to prepare a place for you. After I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back. Then I will take you with me so that you can be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The only way to the Father is through me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father too. But now you know the Father, you have seen him. In other words, Jesus was saying, I am the Son of God. And the disciples had been spending time with God this whole time. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, that is all we need. Jesus answered, Philip, I have been with you for a long time, so you should know me. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father too. So why do you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The things that I told you don't come from me. The Father lives in me and he is doing his own work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or believe because of the miracles I have done. I can assure you that whoever believes in me will do the same things I have done and they will do even greater things than I have done because I am going to the Father. If you ask me for anything in my name, I will do it. Then the Father's glory will be shown through the Son. Jesus shares these words with his disciples at the last supper he has with them. He was going to leave very soon and so he told the disciples what will happen in the next few days. The, the news worried the disciples. They had questions for Jesus and they felt troubled in their hearts. They loved Jesus. He was their leader, teacher, and friend. So they wondered, where is Jesus going? 
Jesus promises the disciples that he will come back, that there are many rooms prepared for them in God's house in heaven, and that they will reunite again. It was a message of hope and comfort for his disciples. In other words, Jesus was telling them, I'll see you later. Jesus is the only way to God and he is the hope for this world. There are many challenges and worries, pressure and stresses in life. It could get pretty overwhelming at times, but a friendship with Jesus, spending time learning, worshiping, thinking about Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life that God gives to us as a gift. Jesus is our friend, Lord and Savior, and our God who stays by our side when things are hard and difficult. When Jesus is in your life, he brings true hope, a hope that is different from the kind that the world offers. And this hope is an everlasting, forever kind of hope, one that never runs out, one that always remains the same, and one that reminds us that we are not alone. Jesus is the same to us yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We have many uncertainties in our world today, like who will find the vaccine for the coronavirus, or what will happen to our schools in the fall, or how do we stay safe as things reopen. But we can pray to God and put our hope in Him. There's a lot of power and encouragement that comes when we um, tell God what we need and ask Him for help. So let's remember those who might be feeling troubled today and we'll pray to close our time. So we'll put our hands together and close our eyes. Dear God, thank you that when there are troubles in life or when we feel troubled, we can come to you. We can ask you for help because you are reliable, trustworthy, and mighty. We pray for those who feel troubled today. We pray and ask that God that you would um, let them know who you are and that your friendship will bring hope, peace, and reassurance. There are many things that we cannot control, so we pray um, that we can grow to depend on you more and more. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks for joining me today in our Bible lesson and you know stay cool in this hot weather enjoy your summer and we'll see you guys next time bye Our Sunday activity for today um, we are going to make a map on this map we're going to put different places that we've been um, in our neighborhood um, different places that we go regularly maybe with our families um, and places we've been to during our quarantine time so we're going to make that today so for this activity you will need a poster board um, a masking tape thing or some type of painters tape or you can use washi tape and some markers so first I just drew my house on the map, kind of sort of in the middle of the poster. I don't know if you can, oh, you can't see it. Oh yeah, so I just drew my house somewhere in sort of in the middle of the map. I drew it with pencils so I can um, go over it with marker later. One of the places I go to a lot is a bakery called La Tabatiere and I get an oat latte, iced oat latte, and a blueberry danish almost every time. And then our family goes um, food shopping at Woody Mart and uh, we get ice cream and chips and noodles and lots of other foods. Um, sometimes I also go to Hope Church. So I will try to draw a church here. I don't think, 
This doesn't really look like Hope Church, but let's just pretend it is. Oh wait, maybe I can do this. And this is where our church office is. Um, and I also like to go hiking with my family. And the trail is very close to my house, so we'll do something like that, I guess. And then hiking. Oh, the other place I really like to go to is Target. And that's where I get seltzer water. And this one might be a little bit silly, but I really like donuts, so sometimes I will go to Krispy Kreme. It's a little bit far, but that's okay. I really like donuts. I think this is how you spell it. Or I hope. Krispy Kreme. And I'll just put some donuts on here. Delicious donuts. And then this is where you order. Oh wait, maybe I need the drive through window because it's a drive through Put a donut here. Okay, so this is what my map looks like so far. And now I'm gonna go back and color in everything with my markers. Uh, and this is what it looks like after I outlined everything with black marker. Okay, and this is what my map looks like with some color. I drew my car. Use this washi tape to make my streets. And here is what it looks like after I finish coloring everything. I have a lot of white spaces, uh, but I mean, you can fill it with stickers or color it in with, um, or you can add more places to the blank spots too. So that was our Sunday activity for today. Um, it's just kind of a way to remember, um, you know, what, what we've been up to, how we've been spending our summer, you know, places we've been to kind of thing. And so, yeah, I hope you get to try it out at home and um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.